Hello friends, welcome to our channel Ultimate Simple Funder. In this channel, you will have access to best of the information in easy and simple way for growth of your own self. So let's start by learning 13 simple steps to be wealthy or as I should say it, bloody wealthy. With the help of gaining knowledge from the book written by Sunil Dalal and Ashwin Sanghi known as 13 Step to Bloody Good Wealth. Step number one, define what wealth means to you. To have control over something, you need to understand it first. As per history, wealth was defined by having animals or a bag of rice or any piece of commodity. Now it is moving on to paper currency and plastic cards. There would be something else in the future. So define and discover what wealth means to you. Is it happiness, satisfaction, relaxation? For most part, many people believe that to master money is equals to master life. And that's why we will move on to that. So discover what wealth means to you and then only you will be able to achieve the greatest heights. Step number two, make a plan. Once you derive that what wealth means to you, make sure that you make a plan to reach out to that goal. Think of it as a GPS route. Decide where you want to reach and head towards. If there is any problem or road is blocked, make sure that you take an alternative. And because becoming wealthy is not an overnight thing, make sure that you map out your big plans into small milestones and tangible numbers so that you can work towards it. Step number three, beat inflation. Now take any of your lifestyle expenses, be it your housing rent, your medical expenses, your car and each and everything and combine it into one budget and see. In 2005, the amount that you had to spend for that and in 2015, what is the amount you spent for that? I'm sure that at least it will be in 2015 the money would be double that you spend for the same lifestyle. Now that is because of inflation. So whatever you invest in, don't just think about profit. Think about profit which comes after you pay your taxes and after inflation. And for that you invest in real estate or gold or equity market in long term. Step number four, plan your expenses. For some people, getting rich is about spending less and for others, it is about earning more. Decide what do you want to do, but in both the cases, you have to plan your expenses. Let's take Lee Ka Shing's model. Now Lee Ka Shing is a billionaire based in Hong Kong. Your li living expense should be 30% of your overall income and networking with friends, you spend 20 percent learning because learning is a constant approach that you should be able to adapt to 15 percent traveling will enhance your experience that's why 10 percent investment because without investment your money will just stay the same it will not grow investment 25 percent step number five create additional income streams in today's world, the economical fluctuation happens a lot and that's why we cannot say anything for sure. That is the reason you should adapt to multi-income. If you are interested in teaching, do that. If you are interested in social network, make sure that you make out benefit from that. If you are interested in cooking, being chef or baker, do that. Turn your passion into business and earn more and many a times what happens is jobs or work done out of passion creates more income than regular jobs. Step number six, harness the power of compounding. If you are keeping your money in your wallet or safest locker in this whole world, there would be nothing benefited from that. That's why you should invest in something, you should multiply with that money because money works Money works for money. Money can multiply itself. Let's take example. If a person by the age of 23 is earning 80 lakh per year, with 50% of his saving without investment, he will make 3.2 crore by the time he is 50. 
that is all his saving and if the same person same amount of income saves 10 percent with 12 percent of investment return per annum that will make 4.2 crore savings by the time he's 50. So what that person is getting is so that person is making more money saving more money with just 10 percent of saving with proper investing step number seven build assets not expenses now let's say you've got money and you're buying an iphone you think you've got an asset because it will increase your market value but then next year comes another iphone and you don't have enough money to get that what will you do then that's not the asset that you had so instead of getting an iphone get apple stock instead when people are standing in the line to get next iphone or new iphone you would be sitting like a queen or a king and getting your bank account grow so that you can get any bloody damn iphone whichever comes next or any better one step number eight make wealth trinity your friend in business you have to understand that risk return and time that is the thing that you should focus on you should take risk you should well adapt to the nature of return and how much will you get and how much time will it take for you to get all of that step number nine have an asset allocation strategy diversify majority of your portfolio into long-term equity and short-term fixed income always make sure to sell high and buy low step number 10 asset classes make sure you understand whatever asset that you're gonna buy there are two type of them first is liquid and second is illiquid liquid means whatever asset that you have can make you quick cash and illiquid means whatever the asset that you have will make you money but not very shortly let's say real estate for example step number 11 knowledge focus patience review you should realize that whatever business you will start will not make you rich by the next day you will have to make learning a continue a continued procedure Learn whatever you can, continue to focus and be able to adapt to whatever comes with your business and then review your today's performance, previous performance and see how it will affect your future. Step number 12. Leverage goodwill. Not every debt is a bad debt. Debt in one sentence means borrowing money from someone borrow money from whoever you can but make sure to put it into right use and not just waste it out for buying new gadgets or things that you wouldn't even care after four to five days or weeks step number 13 tax saved is an income earned with all that money that you can earn and make profit out of you will have to pay taxes and I'm not telling you to not pay taxes, but utilize whichever option that you get to minimize that tax limit. If there is life insurance, vehicle insurance, residential insurance, any other policies that can evade you or put you up to an extension of a certain tax amount, utilize that. This was just a brief. In detail, I will be able to explain each and every step through another video so make sure to subscribe to this channel till then stay well stay wealthy